On Frenemies, Trisha told Ethan and all of the viewers that she had skin cancer in the past. But the problem was is also that show was really traumatic because they tried to test me for skin cancer on the show and I actually What? Yeah, and I walked off the show. If you watch my show, Wait, did you have it? That, um prior to that I had skin cancer removed. So I didn't mm. want to get tested because I thought they were trying to get me set up to make me look like I'm an idiot. Because I continued to tanning after I had uh cancer in my my backside. Fuck is this? Um, fuck back. I did have skin cancer. You did? Yeah. Where? In the, my lower back. They like. I think I think the scar is gone from my liposuction now. When they did it, but they took out a little bit of skin cancer in my lower back. So I do spray tan now. I don't go in the thing, but you're not tan like that. I mean, you look normal now. Well, now, but sometimes when I spray tan, I get a little dark, <laughs> like my Princess Jasmine cosplay. But um, oh, spray tan, yeah, that doesn't count. Yeah. So. So you did have a little skin cancer. Yeah. That so, is a fun fact. Thanks for manifesting that, TLC. <laughs> Right. That would never have happened without that show. In the first video she claimed she had skin cancer before doing the TLC show and in the second clip she claims she found out she had skin cancer after, because she blames the show for manifesting it. And in the first clip claims she continued to tan even after having skin cancer while in the second clip she says she only spray tans now since discovering the cancer. Not only that, in a later episode of Frenemies, she jokes about being pro-cancer and then states that she's not because her mother had cancer. Never citing her own that she allegedly had. I think <laughs> oh, <he's laughs> cancer is pro-cancer. I used to be pro-cancer. Can I say this for real? Like on my strange addiction, I said, they said, what if you get cancer? I'm like, whatever, at least it'll be fucking hot. I, said, I don't think that's pro-cancer. <laughs> just not caring. Yeah, that's right. Care. I'm not pro-cancer. My mom had cancer too. So no, no pro-cancer. All right. All right, that one was pretty dark. <laughs> and that's because, by her own admission, both before and after these episodes she never had it. Never had cancer. Which explains why she told two different versions of when she got it. Here in 2013 she states she's never had cancer and if she ever found out she did she would crumble. That girl is so strong because I think even if that if I if I found out I had cancer now at my age at 25 like I would probably be one of those people who would just like crumble and be like I don't know if I could be that strong but because why would she say that in 2013 acting as if she's never had cancer if she claims to have had it in 2010 during her filming of the TLC show My Strange Addiction you can see the date of her episode here It's because, again, she never had cancer. Which she again admitted here in 2021. Negative, and it was so scary. My mom's like really strong. Like, unlike my, me, my mom's really, really, she just doesn't complain. She's not dramatic. My mom's really not dramatic. Never complains, especially to like us kids. She like never wants to worry. Like, even her breast cancer, she didn't tell, she like waited a day to tell me because she's like, well, I just, you know, you're going to a show or something. And I'm like, mom, she's just like not, you know, most people, you find out you have breast cancer, you're going to tell someone, like, you're just overwhelmed with feelings. I mean, I don't know. I've never had cancer. There is nothing that Trisha hasn't lied about and nothing that she won't lie about.